Hello everyone and welcome to this week's video. Today I'm going to be explaining mass airflow sensors, uh, specifically a hot wire mass airflow sensor. Now mass airflow sensors are used uh, to determine how much air is going into an engine so that the ECU also knows to tell the fuel injectors how much fuel to inject to keep a good air fuel ratio in the engine. So mass airflow sensor is going to kind of look like this and it's going to be mounted behind your air filter. So I'll show you what this, where this would be on a car, um, on mine. My car actually doesn't use this, it uses something different, but I'll explain that later. So mass airflow sensor, what we've got going on inside is you've got these little circuits basically. And between, connected between these wires, we've got these hot wire elements. And so we're going to pass a current through these elements and air is going to flow through this. So you've got a filter basically on the front just so you don't have particles breaking these wires in there. Uh, and basically what we've got going on is we want to keep this element at a constant temperature. And by doing that, we can know how much airflow is going uh, into the engine. So what happens is, say you step on the gas and then you've got more air going into the engine. Well, more air is going to pass through and the current going through this, which is heating up this element, when that air passes through that airflow up, the temperature of this element is going to cool down. Now, temperature and resistance are directly related for this element, so as its temperature drops, its resistance will also drop. Now, if we take a look at Ohm's law, Ohm's law says that current is equal to the voltage divided by the resistance. So if we lower the resistance of this element, then we know that this number here is going to be bigger. So the current is going to go up. Now with a larger current, that it's going to heat up this element. So it's going to bring the temperature back to where it was. Now, what the ECU does is it translates this current into a voltage change. Very simple equation. And with that voltage change, it knows that there's a difference in airflow. Now since it knows there's a difference in airflow, it can say to send more or less fuel. And in combination with the O2 sensor, which I'll explain in a later video, it can balance it out and get the perfect amount. So they can actually get pretty accurate uh, for the air-fuel ratio that, that your engine wants to get. And it'll sometimes vary it depending on how much throttle you're on. Um, so there's other sensors as well which will vary it. But one of the most important ones is a mass airflow sensor so that you know how much air is going in your engine. So we'll take a look at my car real quick and see where this would be located. So if my car were to have a mass airflow sensor, it would be located directly behind the airbox. So there would be an attachment right here, which would be measuring the air coming in. Instead, on my car, I've got a uh, manifold absolute pressure sensor. That's this thing right here. So I'll have a future video on that.